Uh, I've got a good feeling about this little zone. Potential flatty zone. Big on. Big on. Flatty. I can just flatty. It's not big. Very little. Potential puffer fish. What is this? Oh, oh, bit of fight, bit of fight. Yeah, flatty. Oh, give me a bit of pepper. Pretty little flatty. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, chill, chill. He's probably legal, but only just. I'd say I've, the measure things over there. I reckon he's probably just legal. <laughs> Send him home. Beautiful. Wouldn't mind a big one of them. Just using that little ZX thing. Yep, instant on. Oh, I don't think that's a flatty. It's definitely something a little bit bigger. Oh, possible flatty. I think it's flatty. Big dead white now, <laughs> no fight. I actually see these little rivets in the sand and it made me think, I bet your flatties are just sitting in there waiting to ambush. You can see, I don't know if you can see them, but I got polarized sunnies on and I can see these full on like rivets. I'm gonna cast through every single one of them, bet there's a flatty in them. Oh, it's a bit bigger, a little bit. Nice little flatty. I wonder if they want to keep him for dinner. It's a fair way of a walk back. I think I'll probably release him. Don't go crazy, please. Nah, 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 nah. Come back. You know where the water is. Come back here, mate. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> He's trying to get back to the water. It's going to be fine, mate. Everything's going to be fine if you just open your mouth. For me, open your mouth. Everything will be fine. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Right? So I reckon that's actually more like if the last one was 36, I'd say this one's closer to 40 centimeter flatty. Here he goes. Here he goes. Made his way back. Chill. So camo. So bloody camo. Sitting right there, having a rest. You reckon he'll eat again? If I dangle this on his head? Do you reckon he's scared of the ZX now? <laughs> he just swam away from it. <laughs> he doesn't want no more ZXs today. Yeah, so I'm looking at these like rivets in the sand. I reckon every single one of them is going to have a flight in it. Well, maybe not every single one, but... They look pretty good to me. Are we over it? Right? I'll, I'll just be the last load. I'll come. Just a couple more casts. I'll be like the second boat load. I'll just do like five more minutes and then I'll come. Babe. Nah, it's, oh, I don't think so. Not big, but another flatty. There's so many flatties, but oh, bigger flatty. <laughs> it feels a little bit bigger. Come here, mate. Yeah, that's a decent flatty. Oh, decent little flatty.
Come on, man. Come on. That's a... I reckon that's like a 42. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna need my pliers. Probably the biggest flatty I've caught in recent times, actually. And if I can't get this out, he might be dinner. Gotta take him home. All right, so everyone's leaving. We came out on this little island for a bit of a fun session and I happened to get a flatty that hooked itself badly. So this guy's coming home. I've killed him, snapped his neck. He was hooked so badly. The little tiny ZX hook was like down in his gill. I couldn't release him. Like I could have released him, he'd probably swim off and die. So might cook him up for lunch or something. A hell of a lot's happened since that other afternoon that I caught that little flathead. Straight away that afternoon, my son was on a camping trip with a mate and he cut his finger with a knife. He was just mucking around in the bush with his little pocket knife that he had and it closed on his finger and it cut like the joint of his finger. He has just spent the last two days in hospital, had to have surgery on his finger. He's been on intravenous antibiotics, but he's okay. He's had his surgery and his finger's all bandaged up and looking gnarly. He's just been eating hospital food for the last two days. I've made a special meal for him. It's his first meal at home. Some skitzy salad from the garden. <coughs> I'm about to cook up that flathead actually for him. So the first nice, clean, fresh bit of food he eats is gonna be that flathead I caught the other day. And I've got some roasted sweet potatoes and potatoes in the oven. This time, just to mix things up and to make it a bit cleaner, no panko breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna go flathead straight in the pan with a bit of oil. We're just gonna squeeze some lemon on top to finish it off. Clean, healthy meal for Canada, first meal out of the hospital. And me. And Sunny, you too. <laughs> Two clean little flathead fillets. I'm just gonna use sunflower oil today. Pan's already real hot. Medium heat. They're pretty much ready to flip. Flip it. All right, I'm gonna flip this one. He came in a little bit lighter. Bet you've never seen this technique before. Just scooping the oil and pouring that over the top. Bit of a technique. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. And I think we're done. They look really good too. Mm -hmm. Son, do you want some fish? Yeah, just sweet potato. Just sweet potato, that's all you want with your fish. There's also special peas from the garden. There's peas in it? Snap, snap peas. Oh yeah. Snap I can't peas. see them. I hate snap peas. Well, snap out of it, mate, they're pretty good. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna put a bit of salt on the fish because it wasn't salted. And this fish, a little bit on this fish. Each person can have a little sliver that is my dad. of lemon with their fish. That is yours, Sonny. Let's do it. Hey, son, can you go get Canada? Tell him it's ready. It's ready! This is Canada. You would have seen him in a few of the other videos, but look at his finger, all wrapped up, just had surgery on it, and he's been eating reeking hospital food. So I've made you a special meal, mate. You've got fresh flathead, sweet potato, potato, and garden salad. Bit of lemon on the fish? Yeah. All right. Okay, are you gonna try and cut a tree with your knife ever again? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you joking? It's really good. Really? Yeah. First food out of the hospital. Flathead. Really, really, really good. The only reason I kept it is it had swallowed oh, the lure oh, and I couldn't oh. get the hooks out. Did you check for bones or did you just eat the whole thing? Oh, whole thing. Whoa. And Kayla's got a little bit on her plate too. What do you reckon of this? That's a bit too crispy. Yeah, okay, eat the crispy. Yeah. Eat the crispy. Tell me what you reckon. Wait. Did you lamb? No, not yet. You got a lamb. It's just, usually we have panko breadcrumb fish, so this will be just like straight fish, which could be different for you. That's just a crunchy bit. Have another bit. 
That's also a crunchy. It's still really yummy. Was it good, the crunchy? Mm. Now try the big proper. Oh, it's really good. It yeah. kind of tastes like chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, but we didn't even use the panko breadcrumb or anything. Still, the crispy part does. Yeah, okay. I really like flat. It's actually one of my favorite fish. Yeah. Because it's so nice. Yeah, it's not strong. You like it too, Sunny? Good job. Can I eat it? I don't fish already, mate. <laughs> it's so good. It's too good. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully that heals your reeking little bloody infectoid finger. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. He, his mm. finger, the doctor said if he had left it, he would have lost his finger. And if he'd left it like over a week, he probably would have died from the infection. It was extremely bad bacteria in his finger. And it, it just came off the knife, I guess, or maybe his skin or whatever. But 24 hours after he cut it, his finger was like double the size around the joint. Five, Dad? It was like... More what? Double your thumb. More what? More of what? No, around flat the whole thing. Whole thing was more flathead. No, it was like There's no more flathead. You already got all the flathead. It was massive. Yeah. His finger swelled up really badly within 24 hours and his mum, he was at his mum's, rushed him to hospital. Luckily, they were able to operate the next morning. I'm You're still hungry? There's heaps more potatoes and stuff up there. I'll get you some. I'm glad you liked all that though. You like the flathead the best? The kids are loving the fish. That's always good. They've actually already all eaten the fish. <laughs> so I probably could have kept a flathead each for them. Yeah. What have you eaten a whole flatty? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Next time I'll either try and keep a bit bigger one or keep a few of them. If you ever get a cut and it gets infected and it's near a joint, definitely go to hospital because it was like pretty much a life and death sort of situation for Nadie. And the hospital said on his release now, if he gets a fever or too much pain or anything like that, he has to go back to hospital for two months and be on intravenous antibiotics for two months. So it's a dead serious thing here. Tiny cut on his finger ended up being like the most gnarly thing he's ever gone through in his life. So I hope that flathead helps him recover. At least he liked the taste of it. I loved it. You gotta eat your greens too. I know. Though. Big, healthy, after raking hospital food. I think the next video I'm gonna make is a drag testing video to show what settings I put my drag on, on light, medium, and heavy. Whenever I say oh, I use about 10 kilo drag for hookup drag for GT, that's just based off the real saying it's 30 kilo and me thinking I'm at about one third. I could be completely wrong. It might be five kilo, it might be 20 kilo. The one thing I do know is exactly where I set my drag every single time for light, medium, and heavy. And I'm gonna show you that. I've got two sets of scales. I've tested on both sets of scales and we'll be able to see exactly how much kilos of drag I use for hookup drag than fighting drag. All right, everyone, I hope you're having a good one. I hope you're having a bit better one than poor old Nady, but he'll recover. Flathead healing powers. <laughs> you.